Alright guys, welcome to a video about level design. And uh first off, we're just actually I think we could probably use all of this, but I'd rather not. We're just gonna get rid of this. And we're gonna Boom. Like that. I think I kinda overdid it, but nonetheless we just want to create an area that is big enough and you want to be able to go from one end to the other very quickly okay and if you noticed this one part here is extremely illuminated and we are going to take this did I click on the right one? No. that, there we go put it up there alright so let's make an area shall we that's a little big let's bring that down to right about there we just need to be able to walk in the thing Perfect. Now, um, if many of you mind of Hobson, that's awesome. Uh, if many of you know game design, you pretty much understand what the good levels are and how to build them. That even the most simple level design can also be the best level design. And we're going to be making an indoor level. So our content let's drop the wall 500 by 500 put it right there just right about just make sure you line almost everything up so there now that way should go there so we're gonna go like that bring it up a little higher so we can't see now um, you want to be able to travel through your level quickly so just delete this so that means wherever you are your level will begin and we all know that walls aren't that big so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be knocking this down to size right about there should be good okay so there we go that's a good enough wall. Now just imagine that we're running down a hallway right now. But we don't have a hallway. So we're going to make a hallway. Simple enough. And we're going to want it so we can fit a good distance between it so multiple people can travel down. yeah that seems about right so we're traveling down the hallway right now and as you can see I'm just scaling the objects I'm bringing to the edge and everything and just making sure they'll scale so we're gonna bring in another wall and pop that right there just bring it yeah it's hard to make them exact so that's one six hmm. let's try this I'm just gonna bring this forward and 
Now we're going to do this messy. So this is currently blocking off our area. And we're going to create another instance. And we're going to connect it right in. And remember, if you're not sure that you have it working, uh, just choose the top down view and then find out where everything is. We started here. So we're just going to match those up. Like that. And then we're going to like that. Also, be sure to match everything up, as I just said. So pull down like that. Now that is not exact, so we're going to zoom in. Wait, is that right? Actually, that is that's good. It just looks like it was intruding. And that is also good. So Let's clone this. Uh, let's get back into this and we'll clone this. And we're just going to bring this to right about there. Bring it down. Making things is a lot easier when you're in this mode because you got your own grid. So just keep creating instances and just do what feels best. As you can see, we have two instances here. Sadly, we're going to have to shrink one of these. But unfortunately, when you go to scale, I believe this is the scale that goes to 0.25. We're going to go to 0.1. Let's try 0.5. Okay. We're going to do it this way then. There. Problem solved. As you can see, that is our hallway. It is a very, very long hallway. So, you can cut these in two if you want it, and add a room here. Small one, but that's what we're going to do. We're just going to add a room. And we're going to start the, the instance of the hallway off with this. So just drag it all the way over to the front. And just make sure you have it all lined up. like that and what we're going to be doing is we're just going to be holding alt and dragging so zoom in just to get a better feel keep doing the alt and hold alt again let's go right to the beginning so this will be our a little doorway. We're just going to make it just a little bit smaller. So there we go. We can go that way. And it's best that we grab this. Like that. All right, so let's go back to perspective. And as you can see, the building is currently working. But as you can see, we got shadows on everything. So what you're going to need to do is select everything, not counting this, on select that, 
and we're going to go into uh, get rid of this and this. Okay, let's just do it this way. Cast shadow. Actually, I don't think that works. I'm trying to figure out how to get rid of the shadows on this. Sixteen. Nope. Um. Light mass. Use two sided. Movable. Ah, there we go. So we're going to select all and we're just going to change it all to movable. Easiest way to just blend everything in. And movable. This is a many part series, so like that. All right. Welcome to a really long hallway. So let's do this. Can't go that way. Can't go this way. Somehow that got screwed up. So being OCD as I am, we're going to We're just going to drag that right there. Sorry about that. I'm just a little bit nuts. And hit play. So just imagine this is where we're going to start off. Of course, it's not going to be where we're going to start off because we're basically would be starting off in the middle of nowhere. That would make no sense at all. So we're going to knock out that wall right there and we're going to build a bigger surrounding area. It would make more sense if we build a room in here and actually start it in here. Okay, so we're going to go back into top view. We're going to zoom out. We're going to find out where we are. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting this and selecting this. Hold Alt and push forward. All right. Hold Alt and there now we got a starting of a room uh, being made so we're gonna grab this guy here and that guy there hold alt push all the way through here and I messed that up sorry let me try this again hold alt bring up it's not a very big room but nonetheless, uh, it'll definitely help the design a little bit. Okay, so I'm not exactly at the very edge. There we go. So, we have a basic wall here. And what we're going to be doing to create this is select here, and here, and here, and here, alt, and bring up. Symmetry. Bring down. Does that work? That works. Good. OK. So now we have part of a building made. But there's an issue. We've got to clone this, bring this over here, and drop that there. And of course, line everything up. I'm ready to go. Perspective. Okay. So. Once again, hit play. 
and we are gonna have to add lighting of course and trust me it looks much bigger um, when you're building it in perspective view so what we're gonna do is we're gonna extend these walls right here so we're gonna go back to top we're gonna zoom out this isn't good enough so what we're gonna do is just move these up to right about that line there and just hold alt and Oh, Control C. Why am I holding that? Okay. Now, that little gap there can be considered a window if you want it. So we'll just leave that there. And for this wall, we're just going to be doing that. there okay let's jump back into perspective mode so perspective mode can be transferred by holding alt G that it could not it, that could never be considered a window okay so we're gonna get this and this at the same time we're gonna hold alt and just Boom. Normal window. As you can see, we already have the starting of something going. And it's been 17 minutes already, and this is all we've done. And I'm okay with that. And if I make each episode 15 minutes, um, so be it. I am going to increase the DPI of windows so that I don't get bad uh, look on the lettering here in OBS as I'm looking at it right now, and it does not look that good and we'll continue our little project uh, in the next episode. Bye guys.